Hey loves, so I recorded this when I was feeling sick, my throat hurt, I thought let's do a voiceover video, so here we go. <laughs> um, I started first with this sample of the Smashbox primer. Um, it's the blemish control one, which is the new one that they've come out with, and I've actually since bought the full size, and for $50 that must mean that I love it. Um, I was rubbing it especially at the area where I had some breakouts. It has salicylic acid in it, so it dries those up. I will do a full review for you guys soon, I promise. Um, then I went in with a foundation I was also testing for you guys. This is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. So a few of you had um, requested that I test it out for you guys. I get very dancey and singing in this video, just a heads up. Um, and a couple of you asked to test it, so that's what I was doing in this video and throughout the past couple weeks. Those Sephora samples are nice and generous. I will have a, um, a full review on it going up on Monday, so keep an eye out for that. But again, getting funky, draw mustaches, <laughs> and uh, it's the Marc Jacobs Foundation, so how can we not buff it in with the Marc Jacobs Face 2 brush? So here I am doing just that. and. Um, Count yourselves lucky. I had just actually washed my brushes. I realized in an earlier video that I was filming tutorials near the end of the week right before I washed my brushes, so my brushes were all nasty. So I washed them <laughs> for this tutorial. Um, then going in with my MAC uh, Mineralized Concealer in NC20. Um, everything will be listed down below, as always, in case I get the numbers or what have you wrong. But I wanted sort of a bit of a yellowy highlight and so I went with that one, and as you can see, again, the sore throat was not keeping us from singing along to whatever was on I, was on YouTube. Um, this is the Blend a Hand brush from The Balm, and I really liked it. I know there's one that Sigma makes that Jaclyn Hill raves about, and so when I saw this at The Balm counter when I was in Vegas, um, or stand, Balm stand, I was like, well, I need to give it a try, and I love it. This concealer can tend to cake under my eyes, but with this brush, it works perfectly. Um, then taking my MAC Prep and Prime uh, Translucent Pressed Powder, and I think this is a Bobbi Brown blend eye blend brush. I just set um, the highlighter, or the highlight color with it. And then I just took uh, my Guerlain Meteorite Perle. I like the pressed version versus the loose pearls, just because I make a mess of things, so this way I can't drop them all over the place. And then my uh, Chanel Kabuki to set the rest of my face. I wear my makeup all day, so I do set my makeup every day. And then, holo! <laughs> um, if you guys watched yesterday's video, I rave about this guy. This is Lamasca's uh, cream pigment in Hollow, which my sister picked up for me. If you want the whole ramble about why I love this product and the story behind it, um, I will link that video, the review on this product down below. But that's the face that I was like, finally, I get the contour I want. Um, I'm just using it on an angled brush by MAC and then dance and some more. And then, um, Again, because we're going for that long-wearing, last-all-day kind of makeup, I took my NARS Laguna. This is just in um, the limited edition uh, Guy Bourdin palette from the winter, but they sell Laguna individually, so you could do it that way. And just setting it. I take my contour all the way through my cheekbones because I like it that way, and then a little on my jawbone. Uh, this is one of my newest blushes. It's the actually mineralized skin finish from MAC and Cheeky Bronze, which is absolutely stunning. And I just use that on my cheeks to give both a nice highlight and blush color. Um, on my brows, I got my Brow Wiz and my Laura Mercier Brow Gel. I think I was just reminding you guys that everything on my face, in case you missed it because I'm going too fast, will be linked down below. I'm going back in with Hollow, like I told you, you could use it in yesterday's video, I told you you could use it as a cream shadow as well as a contour. So that's what I did with it. I adored it as um, a base for my eyeshadows. Not only was the color perfect, but it also lasted and stayed put all day. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And then I told you my sister's the best. We're just having another moment for Boo Boo, who's amazing. Because um, she picked up this Sahara, Sahara Haze uh, quad from Tom Ford which is what we're using um, was the inspiration behind the entire look. I know I linked her Instagram um, account yesterday. That was me being just stunned by the amazing pigmentation. Um, I know I linked her Instagram account yesterday, but I'm going to do it again because I just, oh, this girl is just everything. 
everything in a bag of chips. Um, that was on the 217 that I took that darker color. And then I took this sparkly color on a 239, which, see, that brush isn't clean. But <laughs> it all works out. We flipped it over. It was fine. And I am going to take that on the outer third and press it in and try to take it up. Um, my little sister tried to explain to me the look that the girl at the counter had with sort of the darker bit being at the bottom and then the, the glitter sort of working as like a gradient working up. So that was the look I attempted to create. So I was pressing it into the other th outer third and then pulling it up almost all the way to the top of the brow bone. And then of course I forgot to do my crease color because I got too excited. So I'm taking my 41 brush by Sephora which by the Sephora collection which I've been so pleasantly surprised with. I didn't know Sephora made such awesome, awesome brushes. Um, and just running that gently through my crease. Uh, again, I like this color because it adds a little bit of depth without being anything too pronounced and too sort of va-va-voom. I did a, a, a very defined crease in some of my other videos last week, so this was just a little bit of a change. And then on my, I want to say it's a 231 from MAC, I just use it with that light color just to highlight that brow bone, and it gives just a beautiful, beautiful glow. I then went back in on that same 239 from MAC um, and that sparkly shimmery beautifulness and ran that underneath my eye just to smoke it out a little bit but not make it too nighttime. I um, just wanted to add a little bit of a glow and I love that color for that because it gave you a glow and a little bit of color without being too dark. And then this, <laughs> this is my Stila uh, Smudge Proof Stay All Day Liner. It has a very long name that will be in that description box. Um, it's in Moray. I have one in Stingray, which is what I thought this was, which is why I was pretending it was a fish and making it swim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that cool. I ran that in my waterline. I ran that in the outer third of um, my top waterline, and then just a little bit on the top um, of my lash line to just give a little bit of definition. Taking my physician's formula, put it on some mascara, and joining you guys back. I forgot to film what I put on my lips, but it is my Tom Ford Blush Nude and my favorite MAC lip pencil, Nice and Spicy. So yeah, that is the finished makeup look. And zooming back out to do three points of positivity, because we can't leave without. <laughs> the first is a very yummy meal that I had with my mama. <laughs> She's been out of town for a while, so I missed her. The second one is a movie I also watched with my mama. We went to see Million Dollar Arm, which was really cute, and I really enjoyed seeing it. And then my third point of positivity was some new makeup that I bought. I bought the NYX um, Milk sort of white crayon, whatever it is. Anyway, sending you guys tons and tons of love. Thanking you so much for being here. As always, reminding you, life is too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.